I think Alex, that's a very pertinent question, and that would, in my opinion, depend on two three things. Uh, the first is you will have to understand how much time do you really have uh, for that particular goal, and for that reason, you will have to have some clarity of what are you really planning for. So to give you an example, let's take two cases. Case number one, when you are trying to plan for the child's education, uh, rather the graduation, which is abroad. And case two, when you are trying to plan for your probably accumulating for your child's uh, medical studies. Now, both of these things are going to be very differently planned because there are two elements here. First, when you're planning for graduation, you probably are looking at a situation where you need that money at the end of the 18th year. But when you're planning for post-graduation, probably you need this money at the end of the 21st, 22nd year. So that's the first differentiating factor. And the second that comes in is what is the appropriate amount and how do you decide that, right? So let's say, for example, we are talking about uh, the first case here where we are looking at uh, trying to accumulate, let's say, hypothetically uh, for my child's uh, uh, medical studies here in India. Now, if you are looking at doing uh, medical studies here in India and you assume that you are looking at uh, the cost that is today at 25 lakhs, which means if I have to get my child to do medical education here in India, today is 25 lakhs. This cost is not going to be constant when you actually are going to face the goal. So the first thing that you have to add here is try and understand that if 25 lakh rupees is the cost today, how much will this cost really become when the goal is due at, at 18 or 21 years of age? So the first thing you will have to understand is what is the current cost? and that inflate it by a minimum of 6% for you to be able to achieve at the actual cost when the goal really arises, right? Now, there are two things that you have to understand here. 6% is a very, very, very nominal rate at which you are inflating this number is because education inflation in India is growing at a faster pace than the CPI inflation. So do not do anything less than 6%, but you will have to do at least 6% and higher. Now, if you've understood that probably, let's say 18 years later, the 25 lakhs that I'm willing to spend today at 6% will become 71 lakhs, then you know that the goal that you really want to achieve is not 25 lakhs, but 71 lakhs, because the cost of the education, which is today 25 lakhs, going to become 71 lakhs. So now if you want to accumulate 71 lakhs, right? Then you understand that you will probably have to do an SIP of 10,000 rupees if you have 18 years to go and 12% at which you, you would want to uh, grow your assets or probably it's a fair expectation at which your assets will grow. Yeah. But remember, if at all you are talking about an international education, you will have to probably use instead of 6%, a higher number, let's say 8-9% yeah. because you to look at currency depreciation also. Yeah, and we'll come 